Mic check, one, two, one, two. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tank B Chopping, and I'm back with another haircut tutorial. Alright guys, what we're going to be doing on this cut is a number one on the sides. We're going to fade that into the length on top. Uh, we're going to be tapering up my client, lining them up, you know what I'm saying? All that good stuff to make sure my client leaves the shop looking good. So uh, I'm going in with my number four guard first just to debulk the sides. And I'm coming right to that parietal ridge area and I'm going to be floating that clipper away from the head. That way I leave a nice uh, squared look. And I don't leave too much of a round, you know, of a round look going. I know sometimes people just follow the shape of the head and it tends to give too much of a round look. Uh, I like to square my haircuts off. So what I'm doing is when I get to that parietal ridge area, I start floating my clipper away, just lifting the clipper off of the head slightly. That way, whatever I'm doing on the side fades into that link on top. And as you can see in this part of the hair, uh, his hair was going different, you know, a bunch of different ways. So I had to make sure I hit that in different directions. That way I got all that down to that number four guard. And then we're just going to do the same thing to the back and to the opposite side. Alright, so now that that is done, I'm actually going to be taking my number two guard and just debulking the sides a little more. Uh, normally, I'd go over the sides with the desired length, but I decided to go over the sides with a number two guard just to clean up some more of this bulk, you know what I'm saying, and make it a little easier for me, a little easier for me to fade when I'm actually fading that number one into the length on top. Right, now that that is done, I'm taking my number one guard lever closed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, clipper up as high as I want my fade to be. You know what I'm saying? So this is where I want my fade to start. So I'm going to stop right there, set that guideline in, and then I open my clipper and start it fading a little bit. You know, just moving that line a little a little, uh, a little, little more higher. And now I'm going in with my 1.5 guard lever open. And then I'm going to close my lever and try to blend that number two guard into my one guard lever open. Alright, so now that that is done, I'm going to take my number three guard and I'm just going to blend that number two guard into what I did with my number four guard. I, ho I hope I'm making sense of what I'm saying. I hope y'all following what your boy's talking about. Uh, but this is my number three guard. Once again, guys, lever open and then lever close, trying to fade that into that four that I did previously in this haircut. And normally that's how I normally do my fade but since his hair was going a lot of which ways here I decided to take my number five guard or I'm sorry my number six guard and really just start doing some more blending work just to just to really get this fade to look a little better on the side and now I'm taking my saber trimmer from Stylecraft and I'm gonna go ahead and line him up behind the ear uh, I like to do this because I just I just feel that it helps give me more of a finished look even though I know I'm not finished yet. I like to put this picture in a frame first and then go ahead and start fading it up. And for me, it just works better that way for me. So uh, now I'm setting in my initial bald guideline, balding them out on the side, and then I'm going to follow this up with the shaver. And now I'm going to actually start blending. So this is my uh, Starcraft Apex. I'm going in with my lever all the way open, setting in my next guideline. And then I close my lever halfway. And then I'm going to close my lever all the way and work my way down. You know what I'm saying? So as you can see, this line is getting erased. Now I'm going in with my one guard lever all the way open. And then I'm going to close my lever. And I know I did a number one on the sides, but towards the front of that taper, I'm going to need to use that lever open. That way it fades into that longer hair right there. So I'm just adjusting my lever as needed, trying to get this to blend together nicely. And now this is my zero guard lever uh, lever open. And then I'm going to adjust my lever close as needed to try to get rid of this line. And sometimes it won't get rid of the line. Sometimes it will. I think it did a pretty good job this time. But I'm still going in with my clipper lever all the way open, doing some small detail work, just trying to get this part of the blend to come together. So now I'm going in with my four guard, just really detailing everything I already did. I use my number four guard, and I believe this is my number three guard, just cleaning up that blend. Here is my number two guard, just trying to make everything look nice and, you know, just nice, nice and blurry. Uh, just try to get this blend to come together. Because as you can see, there is some small discrepancies in this cut still. So I want to make sure that I'm going over what I previously did just to clean everything up. 
All right, and now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my client's lineup. I'm gonna start off in the middle of my client's head, uh, set in my first initial guideline, and then work my way over little by little until I get to that vertical bar. Remember guys, when you're lining up, you wanna make sure you're taking your time. Make sure you're using that brush to brush away any extra hair that's falling down. Uh, that way you can actually see how that hairline is looking once you're lining it up. And then you're gonna work your way all the way over until you get to that V-bar. Go ahead and hit that V-bar real quick. Get that nice and sharp. And then I didn't record the whole haircut, but I did record this side of the lineup. And then I recorded me adding some enhancements. I didn't record the razor work, but nonetheless, guys, y'all get a good idea of what I'm doing. I'm just trying to match this side to the opposite side. And as y'all can see, I feel that this, you know, he's got a nice little lineup going. He's got a nice taper going. Uh, now we're going to add some enhancements. And as y'all can see, I'm not holding that gun too close to my client's hairline. Uh, if you have that gun too close, it's going to make the paint look like really like caked on. And that's obviously not something that I'm trying to do. So I want to make sure I hold my gun a good distance from my client's head. And if I need to move uh, closer, then I will. And now we're just going to do the same thing to the opposite side. Make sure this whole hairline looks nice and sharp. Really make these lines pop. But check it out, guys. This is how my client came into the shop looking. And this is the after. Y'all let me know what you think about this haircut in the comment section. If y'all like this video, please make sure to smash that like button. Also, if new to my channel, make sure to subscribe one time for your boy. Remember, guys, y'all can go to my website, tankbechopping.com, if you want to book an appointment. Also, if you want to purchase any StyleCraft tools, you can use my discount code TANK10 on the StyleCraft or Gamma Plus website. And that's basically it, YouTube. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, let's go. Yeah.